kill them all. That's what you get. That's what you get. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die modded series. Today, we are back on Undead Legacy. All right, guys, we are going to get back to the high rise we were doing. I think we were doing the pharmaceutical building, weren't we? Pretty sure we were. We're going to get back in there. We're going to do some looting for the day. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making, I'm going to take some time and I'm going to make the mini bike next episode. Now, I could make the mini bike right now, but I kind of want to spend my daytime looting. Um, I don't want to waste my daytime uh, doing a bunch of crafting. And I'm going to have to do a bunch of crafting uh, to do this mini bike thing. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to also need, I'm assuming I have some blueberries or something at home and some chrysanthemums. If I don't, I can't make the mini bike. I need some blueberries and chrysanthemums. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. I mean, I I'm not really sure, but I I'm not going to look for them right now. I'm going to see what I got. I probably should have checked them while I was at home, but who knows? Maybe we'll get some in the high rise. Anyway, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. All right. Do I have any blueberries? I don't know. You guys probably know better than I do, right? I mean, I could probably go around and look for some. Uh, maybe I'll do it off camera, though. I don't really want to be going around randomly looking for blueberries. Is there a biome where you get blueberries more than others? Because I know the snowberries are in the um, are in the winter biome, but I need I, I actually need blueberries. There's some chrysanthemums. I'm pretty sure I have chrysanthemums back at base. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother taking these because uh, they're just gonna clutter up my inventory right now. Um, I can get chrysanthemums easy. I just don't know where the blueberries are. What I need to do is I need to find some of the I need to go along the town, uh, probably around right here. And sometimes there's like blueberry farms around, which, you know, or maybe I looted some. I might have some at home. I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, today's going to be all about looting. And between this and next video, I will see what I have. And if I don't have what I need, I'll go get it. I'll go get some blueberries off camera. All right, we're going to need some stamina here. All right, there we go. Yeah, check me out. Now I'm ready to crack some skulls. I feel like crushing my enemies. You are my enemy. All right, metal jug. All right, the, the pharmaceutical building, Hagachi Malachi Tower. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, this is definitely the one I was doing before, cause um I was looking for a tower to do, and I was like, oh, you know what's really nice, by the way. Let, let me finish my thought. I was looking for a tower to do, and I was like, you know, I've done all the other towers quite a bit. Um, this is probably one of the ones I haven't done in a while, so I figured, what the hey, and that's why we're here now. And what was I gonna say? Uh, uh, oh yeah, that's another thing. Once I get the die table set up, I can uh, make lock picks, which is really cool. It just takes like coal and paper or something for the black die, and then I can make some lock picks, which would be um, really, really nice. Uh, empty wall, insecure. I guess that just means that I broke it open. I might not actually break open any of the safes in here. Maybe I'll come back with lock picks at some point. Might be a better idea. I don't remember how far I went in this place either. Um, is there a drop? Yeah, there's a drop chest in here too. I might have already passed it. Is there two? Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, I passed the first one. Wow. Okay, I got a lot of stuff in here. That is very nice. Very nice. Should be coming up on that second drop. Oh, I passed both the drop chests, didn't I? Because this, this is the last room I did. Pretty sure. Uh, we'll know in a moment. Yeah, it was. It was the last room I did. Yep. All right, yeah. So I passed both the drop chests. That's all right. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, wow. I like me some pistols. <laughs> you know I don't like pistols. Pistols are a sick, sick joke. Oh, good. A, a nice iron wrench. It's very good. Because, um, I don't know. I, is the iron wrench better than the steel wrench at that quality? What are we looking at for iron wrench? We're looking at... Uh, block damage, 10.3. And the steel one is... Oh, 8. Okay, so this is actually better than the steel wrench, I think. Okay, alright. That's cool. I'll have to keep that in mind. I am going to have to go wrenching some cars, because I'm going to need gas once... I I'm I'm 99% sure I'm going to have the mini bike uh, next episode. Um, wait, did I need a screwdriver? Oh, yeah, that, that also depends on if I can make the screwdriver. That's right. Could I make the screwdriver? I needed the plastic filament. Plastic filament. And I just needed plastic for that, right? Well, you have to... Oh, you have to make this an engineering table. And you might need a tool for it as well. You might need a tool for the plastic filament. Okay, guys. 
maybe I, I might not have the mini bike next episode. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best. Um, wait. I came through here and go through there. It's weird. It's like I went around the long way. Wait. Have I been here? No, I haven't. It's weird because there's no zombies here. Usually there'd be some uh, sleepers right about now. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not complaining. Oh, what's that? Patch it up. Patch it up. Patch it up. 5% increased clothing repair amount. Okay, well, that's not really gonna... That's not really gonna blow my hair back, but that's okay. Um, it's still pretty nice. Uh, it's one of those rare books, so... Uh, okay, 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 okay. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry if this is a little disjointed. Uh, I, it's been a couple hours since I've recorded, okay? I had to go pick up my wife, and um, also I did I did go home in-game and take a look at some stuff uh, at the crafting table, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to be crafting that filament stuff anytime soon. What I didn't realize about the plastic filament is it requires do-it-yourself level 2, which I'm not going to take you into it, but you need to be level 60 for that. So I'm not going to be making this. Plus, in order to make this uh, plastic filament, you need to have the filament fabricator. Okay? And in order to make the filament fabricator, um, I don't remember what, what else I needed. I, you need some kind of 3D printer, engineering table, do it yourself. Actually, I have the 3D printer. And I, I, would, I could have the engineering table. I could probably do this. But the problem is, do it yourself requiring level 2 is what's really holding me back. So... I need that filament for the screwdriver, but yeah, I'm probably not going to have it anytime soon, which is a bit of a bummer, so I have to loot it. So let's just get looting. The problem with this mod is it's so deep, and I actually enjoy the complexity of the mod, but the problem is I forget what's what, and I don't really want to have to start taking notes. Like, <laughs> you know, um, there's just, I, I'm so busy, and like, there's nothing the time of the day. I don't want to have to be taking notes, you know? Um, I'm going to have to make like a flow chart. Of what I need for what item in this game. Well, I need the I need the dye thing. Oh, slower metabolism. I think I already have that. Yeah, I do. Oh, I need the um I need the dye thing for this thing, and I need that, and then I need the filament, and in order to get the filament, I need you know I just I don't want to be making a flow chart. I just want to play the game. Uh, <laughs> love the mod, but my goodness, it is um it is wow, just just wow. All right, um, let's go ahead and uh, loot the rest of these. I'm gonna loot everything because you never know what's gonna be in these things. Ooh, do I, did I need that? I don't think I did. Ah, I should probably make it. I don't know why I'm still using a bow. <laughs> well, because there's like a million things to do in this mod and I can't even keep the loot straight, much less, you know, do anything else. Um, oh, Clueless Joe. That sounds like one I haven't got yet. 5% um, reduced repair time. Okay, very cool. Very cool. I'm going to leave the safes alone. Like I said, I'll come back here when I have lock picks. Um, that die table. Oh, it's killing me. It's killing me. Uh, I have to loot the. I have to loot or get the get that filament somehow. Uh, now it's a plastic item. I don't know if there's something I could take apart. You guys want to let me know in the comments. What do you think I should? Uh, maybe not what you think. Does anybody know what I need to take apart to get that filament? Or do I just have to loot it? I don't know. Uh, but if I could wrench something, just let me know in the comments. Um, any help would be uh, greatly appreciated. All right. All right. Plastic. Plastic filament. That, I don't know. It makes me think of wires, you know? Like, you'd wrap wires up in it, maybe? I, I don't know what I could take apart to get it. But I need to find something. Because I'm thinking it's something you want to wrench to get, possibly. Kind of like the gears. It's the same situation that I had with the gears. I've wrenched quite a few things, though. Um, well, I mean, I could always wrench more things. Um, uh, yeah. Let's do that. Where's my wrench? There it is. Okay. Let's, uh, go ahead and break this up. Probably going to be putting down another drop-off chest pretty soon. Alright, so that's not getting me any filament. Now, that filament's uh, probably pretty rare, so... Um, the problem with wrenching stuff is it's really going to fill up my inventory um, very quickly, so... Alright, we got some guys in the ceiling over here. There you go. Come on down here, buddy. I got something for that ass. Come on. There you go. That's what you get. Boom! Hey, you like me now? Is I oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Gotta watch out for those mines. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. There you go. Kill her. Bash you in the head. Kill your ass. Beautiful. Do I have a silenced pistol? I think I do. This would probably be a pretty good spot to use this. 
Do I have any bullets? Who cares? I got bullets in the gun. That's all that really matters. Um, at least for now. Crossbow darts. Those things sound like something you'd use in a nerf gun, don't it? Oh, I got some crossbow darts. Oh, we're filling up, man. We are filling up on inventory. Oh, God. Hey, right, guys, I made some, uh... Some space in my backpack, so I don't think I'll do a drop chest yet, but I think one is going to be coming up. Let's kill this guy. This chick. She's pissing me off. Kill them all. That's what you get. That's what you get. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn it, Cage. Ugh, I was trying to get to my pistol. Oh, that, that, that shouldn't have happened. I should have... I should have put the pistol in a better spot. That, that was just unnecessarily... Unnecessarily dead. I was unnecessarily dead. <laughs> hey guys, I'm on my way back. <sighs> I wonder if I should talk about this. Um, I don't really know if I should talk about this, but I think I'm going to because I think it's going to help. I have been under a great deal of stress um, recently. Uh, you know... Uh, just little things like I've been on a diet for three weeks and I think it's starting to get to me because I have just been filled with rage, just anger um, the past couple weeks, mostly this week. I'm not really sure why it hit me so bad this week, but I've just been so mad and, and like unnecessarily so. I'm not really sure why. Um, like today on the way home, I was just so frustrated, um, you know, just I, I don't know what the deal is. It might be it might be because of, um, you know, YouTube is a very tough gig um because i'm always stressed out trying to like get videos up trying to get videos done i'm trying to get ahead because i need to do this on you know i need to record with this person on friday i need to record with that person on friday i need to do this that and the other thing and it's it's pretty stressful and um when you add that uh when you add that to the fact that i'm on this diet um i've been very angry today i'm not i'm not really 100 percent sure why i guess i guess it has something to do with the diet and something to do with youtube but i don't know i feel like it's um, I feel like it's unnecessary. I don't need to be so angry. And the reason I'm telling you guys about it is because I think it helps to, to talk about it. Um, so, you know, maybe you guys don't care. I don't really know, but I want you to know that, um, when I died, um, I was really, really angry. <laughs> um, I'm handling it better now, but just like, and it wasn't like an anger where I was like yelling or cursing or anything. It was just, I was just, just rage filled, just I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know how to explain it. If anyone, if anyone I'm talking to has a, um, a temper problem, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and like, you know, I get, I get like that sometimes. Um, so I'm going to put the pistol as number three this time so I can get to it easier. Um, you know, I, I was debating on whether I was going to tell you guys about it. Cause you know, it doesn't really have anything to do with the game, but, um, I think for my own mental health, it does help me, um, you know, kind of, uh, deal with stuff. So <sighs> I'm going to take a breath. I gotta be careful. It was such a, it was such a needless death too. And I also pride myself being good on this game. So when I, when I die, I kind of get aggravated, especially when it, it was very avoidable. Um, so that kind of aggravates the hell out of me. Uh, so, <laughs> but we're back. We're gonna continue along. Um, in the long run, it doesn't even matter. I'm still at 98% wellness. It, it's, it really doesn't make any kind of real difference. Um, where's the other guys? Did they just like? I, I got jumped by like three guys here, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna take it a little bit more careful now. I'll be a little bit more like that's what the thing is, man. It, when you go when you play this game, guys, and you do not respect the, the I don't know how to call it. I don't know how to say it. If you don't respect the difficulty or if the zombies or however you want to say it, um, oh, that's only eight points, but I don't have eight points. I need more points. When you stop respecting the game, uh, that's when it bites you in the butt. And um, I was not. I was not being careful. I was not respecting the, the, the challenge. And I was just like, whatever. And, that you know, that's what happens. You get killed. Oh, see? See? So she's back here. So close that door. Play smart, guys. If you're going to be putting your back to a door, then close the damn thing. There's no reason to have that door open. Okay, look around for, look around for uh, you know, corpses. I'm not seeing anything. We look like we're pretty good now. So now I can do some looting. Yeah, you gotta res you gotta respect it. Undead Legacy is not as hard as a lot of other mods, but even in vanilla, if you're not paying attention and you're not respect, oh, a bone saw, bone saws ready. I mean, if you don't pay attention, you're gonna you're gonna. Oh, that's what I needed. Oh wait, hold on a sec. Hold on. 
That's not what I need for the die table, but that's what I. That's one of the things I need for the mini bike. Um, blue and orange. Blue. Blues. Blueberries. Oranges. Uh, okay, so green isn't really. What is green used for? Anything? Yeah, just green paint. Well, the green paint's what you need. <clears throat> All right, so if we can start finding dyes, you know, or whatever, then um, ooh, blunt force. That is uh. 5% increased dismemberment chance when using uh, melee weapons. Okay. All right. I'll take that. That is very nice. All right. So what do we need for the die table? Um, well, we need the screwdriver for the die table either way. That's that's not... on uh, The light brown would be good. Um, you actually need those. Yeah. So I would actually need... Um, can you make these? No, you make these in the die table. So I have to find the die for light brown. Okay. Um... Because I don't have the dye table, so I can't do any dye combining, right? Oh, can I actually make the paint with the dye? I think I have to find... I don't think you can make the paint with the dye. Yep, nope. Uh, wait, actually, um, hold on a sec. What is, what is it called? Light brown. Let's just do brown. That'll be easy. Light brown. Light brown is in the dye and paint table. So I actually have to find the paint itself. See why this is so confusing? Um, I actually have to find the paint itself. Okay, that's what we're looking for, that paint. Okay, whether that's going to drop or not, eh, who knows? You never know. That's why you got to get out there and loot, man. That's why you got to get out there and loot. Uh, microscope, okay. Whoa, don't break that. Uh, playing cards, a couple of little knickknacks, and my inventory is full. I think it might be time for a drop chest. All right, guys, drop chest three. All right, let's continue along. All right, we got to keep looting in here, man. Let's go. The, one cool thing about this uh, mod, even though you need, like, so many different items and, like, an incredibly large amount of items, it's still fun because, um, you know, you, you, you could get... Oh! Oh, let me finish my sentence. You could turn into the next old sink you come across and get exactly what you need. Oh, my freaking God. Oh, my freaking God. You know, I might want to go home right now. I think I have what I need to make the die table. We'll save it for next episode. I'm, I'm excited, but we're, we're going to have to save it for next episode. Uh, God, could you, can you believe that? Like, I was just going to say, you could, you could look in the next, you know, inventory and find exactly what you need. That's why it's so fun to loot with this mod. And then sure enough, I found, I mean, I would have preferred an auger maybe, but I don't know. That's pretty much exactly what I was looking for. That die table is going to open up so many things for me. It's going to open up... It's going to open up lockpicks, the, the ability for me to lockpick. It's going to open up the ability for me to put dies to... Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what is that? Oh, my freaking God. I don't know how good it is, but it looks badass. It's not silenced, though. <laughs> um, wow. Um, who cares? Hells yeah. Let's take a look at this. Oh, man. Is that a beautiful or what? That's a good looking gun. And all the... Man, it's got purple parts in it. Holy frick. Oh, it takes some... Um, wait, ammo says 9mm. That doesn't look like 9mm. Oh, yeah, it is. The 9mm just looks different in this mod. Wow. That is phenomenal, dude. Phenomenal. That's why I love looting in these mods, man. They're they're just... Um, they're just freaking awesome. All right. Well, let's uh, let's continue along, shall we? All righty. So do I want to use the uh, silence? Nah, I want to use the good gun, man. Look at this thing. Oh, it just looks like a pistol. All right, well... You can't have it all, right? All right, so there we go. What is this? Cowboy hat. Oh man, I can't believe I can't believe I was just talking about you could get you could get what exactly what you need in the next loot container you open, and then I got exactly what I needed. I didn't even finish the sentence. I didn't even finish the sentence. See, man, that kind of stuff is really cool. It's what it's. It's one of the main reasons I love playing this game. A lot of people ask me, don't you get bored of Seven Days to Die? And I'm like, eh, you know, um, not really. And that's part of the reason I don't, because of stuff like that. Just amazing. Oh, this is, this is just, this is just grand. Boom saws ready! Sorry, I love that saying. I love that movie, too. Although the second one was better. Okay, did we get everything in here? I think we did. Let's continue along. Yeah, guys, um, we will be making the die set uh, tomorrow. Um, no joke, man. Gonna be making ourselves a die set. It's gonna be awesome. 
All right, guys. Did some more inventory management. We're going to put down another drop chest pretty soon. Man, you get so much freaking loot. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's a, it's a, it's a lot to handle. Like, it really is. All right. I had something over here I didn't loot, right? Yeah, there we go. All right. Man, we might finish up this room. We'll see. We'll see. That coal's nice, man. I can make some, uh, some lock picks out of it. Oh, hello. Man, why didn't you come down, lady? Could have dropped right on my head. I mean, I'm glad he didn't, but... Did I just level up? What is that? Burger buns. I got some buns, bro. All right, fair enough. Actually, I didn't level up, did I? No, I think I, something else happened. I don't know what that was. Probably a blunt weapon um, up, update or something. Or maybe it was a quest update. I don't know. Did not see. Oh, I was supposed to be taking stuff apart, too. Uh, where my wrench? There we go. Alright, what do we get here? Yeah. I think I gotta take some apart. What would be, what would have more, like, plastic in it? What would have a lot of plastic? Eh, a lot of plastic, right? Nah. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Um, can we take that apart? Anything in here? Plastic? Uh, can we take these apart? No, we can't. Um, lights wouldn't have a lot of plastic in them. Oh, I missed the missed the loot loot container here. Ah, I want to do that, man. I'm on a roll. I'm on a f two loot containers. I'm on a freaking roll here, people. Do not want to miss any of this. That's where I came through, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see where I get play. Let me know, guys. I'm I'm probably just missing whatever could be the plastic thing to take apart. All right. What do we got? Oh, a little ducky. Now I could take. Now I could finally take a bath. I'll take a bath without a little ducky. A little rubber ducky. Squeak, squeak. Uh, what is that anyway? Oh, sulfuric acid. Eh. That doesn't sound good. I'd like to be able to throw that on the zombies just for the lulls. I know it probably wouldn't do much for me, but it'd still be funny. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. All right. We got a breakthrough here. Nope. Yep, a little bit of lag there. Oh, here we go. I shouldn't be breaking this out. I should really respect the zombies a little bit more than that, but here we are. Get out of there. Or not. Any other zombies in here? I'm not seeing any. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. They better not spawn behind me. Sometimes I think they legit spawn behind me. And, um, and I get killed when it's not my fault. And then I feel bad. Like, I'm like, I don't want to say that they spawn behind me. Because if I'm wrong, it makes me look like a jackass. Um, but most of the time, I don't think I am. Uh, junk. Uh, trade item. Junk. Uh, trade. Really? A pool ball is a trade item, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna keep any anywhere where zombies could maybe uh, try and jump me from behind. I'm gonna keep them in front of me. Uh, what is that? A molecular analyzer. Okay. Um, a bug swatter. Yeah. Not really worried about that. Again, put my back into the corner. If anything's coming at me, I'll be able to see it. And we're filling up with stuff again. My goodness. What do we got here? More sulfuric acid. Yeah, you know what, guys? My inventory is really causing an issue here. And the zombies are going to be running soon. I should probably hightail at home while I have some time. So let's uh, let's come through here, see if there's anything we'd like to take home with us. I'm not really seeing anything. I don't think I would have put anything in here that I really wanted to take home with me. I'll take some of that green dye. And, um, yeah, we're going to have to come back here, man, like off camera, and transfer all of this stuff back home. Uh, I don't know when, but, you know, definitely going to have to do that. Uh, okay, let's be careful here. All right, well, guys, um, I'm going to try and make the die table tomorrow. I think I have everything for it. Uh, I think I might have a chance to make the, make something or make uh, make some things. I don't know, but I'll tell you right now, one thing I've learned in this mod, don't say you're going to make something the next day because chances are you probably don't have what you need. Um, how did I get in here? I don't remember. I came through here, didn't I? Is this where I came through? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because chances are you're not going to have what you need, and you think you're going to make something, and then you're not going to. Also, if you know where I can, like, maybe wrench anything to get that plastic filament, um, please let me know. I'm just not sure 
if I'm missing like an easy wrench. Oh boy, there's zombies. Yeah, I gotta run through here. Because uh, they are gonna be running soon. I don't need to be fighting them. So let's run through here as quickly as possible and try and get home. Um, I'm gonna put one of these uh, drinks on here. So I have stamina. So let's do that. And uh, do I want to call the video now or do I want to run home on camera? I think I'm going to run home on camera at least till I get outside. And once I get outside, it should be a pretty easy run. But um, yeah, let me know about that plastic. I, I don't... Maybe these? Think of plastic? I don't know. That doesn't... I don't think those are plastic. There might be something I could wrench for plastic. And that's, that's where you guys come in. Let me know. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to call this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. But until then, take it easy.